Aloha. My name is Jesse Showalter, um, and uh, I'm a designer and a developer. And uh, today is going to be part one. This video is going to be part one in a series of how to bring a static HTML um, website into ModX. Um, it's an open source CMS, and um, it's what I'm starting to use for all my projects. And I just find it to be extremely easy and awesome. So I just wanted to do uh, like a really basic series on on how to implement. Um, mod X um, on a website and so uh, let's just look at what we're talking about so this is me my name is Jesse Showalter and uh, like I said I'm a designer and a front-end developer I do a lot of like UI and UX stuff and uh, front-end dev and for a long time I was really looking for a content management system that would suit me right um, I'm not a PHP guru I'm not a back-end developer guy um, I can I can script a little bit. I can I can do some basic stuff in in uh, server side uh, code, but I'm by no means am I fantastic. I'm a really crappy developer um, on the backside. So I need something I can use for my clients, and um, that's when I found ModX. So ModX is it, it really it kind of totes this idea of creative freedom, and once you kind of get in there and playing with it and start playing with it, and you see the templating system that they have and and how logical things are. Um, man, it's really easy to kind of um, round out your skill set and be able to offer your clients an amazing product um, uh, when you're all done with the project. And so, uh, yeah, I just want to run through and do um, a, a, a simple series of videos that kind of highlights this. And, and this is all going to be off the, off the hip, really. So I'm just going to be downloading stuff and doing stuff first time, never looking, have looking at the code or having been looking at that code. So uh, bear with me, and, uh, and we'll just see how it goes. But hopefully you see, you know, through my trial and error, um, how simple it, it really is. So first thing we're going to do is go to ModX, and, um, and we're going to go to the software. And Re ModX Revolution is what I use. And so we're just going to go ahead and download the uh, latest um, release of ModX Revolution, which right now is at 2.2.10. Um, pretty soon they're going to be coming out with 3.0. As, as far as I'm aware and it's going to be a huge change as far as the interface goes on the admin side and it's going to be a lot cleaner um, it's going to be a lot faster as well so um, but by no means is 2.2.10 uh, a piece of junk it's pretty sweet so just I've downloaded ModX down there um, I'm going to be using a, a template from uh, html5up.net they just kind of create all these awesome responsive uh, html templates and so I'm going to be using this one called Escape Velocity, and so um, we'll just go look at it real quick in the live demo. Uh, you know, kind of common for templates these days, um, just really clean, really nice, and uh, it just doesn't have a whole lot going on with it, really. It's drop-down, uh, it's responsive, so um, yeah, responsive site, which is awesome. It has kind of a responsive side nav menu, which is cool, and... Uh, and yeah, so just some little content areas, some call to actions, uh, photos, and more buttons, a uh, form, and uh, some little social stuff and contact stuff down here. So we're going to be implementing this template um, through ModX. And so you can see, um, just by being me being able to grab any template I want, knowing I'll be able to do this in ModX, kind of says something right off the bat that um, you know if you can if you can design it and build it in HTML and CSS you can finish it up in Mod X without, uh, like some other content management systems, making uh, the content management system, or excuse me, making the designs tweak to the CMS. Um, this one actually tweaks the CMS to the design so you can get whatever you need to done. So uh, let's just finish our setup here. I'm just going to be doing this on a local my local uh, MAMP Pro server, and so I'm going to set this up. Uh, I'm going to call it... Um, Mod X lesson or something, and uh, we'll create a new directory for it in my sites called Mod X lesson. And so, um, not going to go through all this stuff. If you're watching these tutorials, hopefully you know uh, a little bit about HTML and CSS. Um, you know, if you don't know how to uh, set up 
a local server using MAMP or MAMP Pro, I, I suggest you go and look at one of my other tutorials. I think I have one on setting up a local server. And so that's what we've just done. We've set up a local server. If I click the home button, you'll see the MAMP Pro is running and I, I can now run server-side code. Um, I'm going to create a database real quick. So I'm just I'm hooked up in uh, SQL Pro to my MAMP um, to my MAMP installation, and I'm just going to connect and create a database matching the rest of it. So that's done. That's all good. And now I'm just going to go in real quick um, to where that was ModX lesson, and I'm going to get rid of these default installation files and uh, I'm going to go to my downloads and find mod X and I'm going to bring it into my, my lesson file. So this is just mimicking what you would do on your uh, on your live server. Um, just kind of unpacking uh, all the all the insides of the folder. So and then once we have that we can, we'll just get rid of the extras and stay cleanly. So uh, now that we're all set up, we'll go through the installation process real quick, which is kind of a tutorial in its own, but we can see how easy it really is um, when we do it. So we're just going to go to um, to modex to our domain and uh, typing slash setup, and that'll lead us to our setup. And so we'll just be led through the setup process. So we're going to do new installation because that's what it is. Click next, and here's where we're going to put all of our database. Uh, connection information. So I'm running on MAMP on my local host. So it's localhost, you know, this is the standard root root and then test to see if it's connecting. And sure enough, it is. It's connecting. So, okay, so it worked that time. I don't know why. So uh, just trusting that. So we're going to just put mod x lesson and um, mod x lesson at fake.com. We don't need any of that stuff. So um, and we're just doing everything mod X lesson basically so we can remember so we get all the green lights we get the checks and boom fairly you know seamless installation had a couple of hiccups but that's me basically not remembering my uh, <laughs> my password information so uh, it's just gonna finish the installation right now uh, and uh, that's it now we're going to go to uh, go ahead and log in. Make sure it's that that was checked that says it's going to delete the setup file. So um, we're going to log in as modex lesson. And uh, that should log us into the dashboard. Boom. Okay, we're logged in. We're welcomed. Awesome. And so you can see now um, we're actually in the modex uh, dashboard or the manager is what they call it. And uh, if I go up to site and click view, you can see nothing comes up. There's it's a blank screen, and this is what's fantastic. I know you know WordPress and some other CMSs they they come stock. They come stock with you know a template and it's in there. And but who uses that template really? It's a piece of junk, and so you might it's better off to have nothing. So you can see um, we have the resources tab, the elements tab, and the files tab. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I'll do you know I'll, I'll reference you to um, another overview of ModX that I have. Uh, uh, this is all about really how to implement the static HTML and CSS on your site. So, But just really quick overview. The resources are what ModX refers to as pages or resources. Elements are, um, we're going to get into a lot, which are the templates that each page is using, the variables that uh, kind of correspond to the template so we can mix things up and match, chunks, which are basically like PHP includes or something you want to include over and over uh, on many different files. Snippets are pieces of PHP code you want to run on your site. Categories are how you want to categorize stuff and plugins are exactly what they sound like to plugins. Files are actually all the same static files that are on your site. So you can see if I clicked over and saw assets, connections, and core, you would see all the same things. This is cool because you can literally access all of your, uh, all the contents of your site right through the manager. Uh, so if you're somewhere, you happen to be, you know, the poop hits the fan and you're on somebody else's machine or computer, uh, you can access everything uh, right through the manager and not have to worry about being away from your files or whatever. So that's pretty cool. So um, again, we can see that we have a blank screen. We're just going to clear all these other tabs real quick. And you can see that we have a blank screen when we go to ModX uh, or our home page. Um, well, that's because we don't have anything in there. If I just typed hello and and click save, 
came over here and refreshed, you'd see hello. And so um, it is right now it's pulling from a base template. Okay, we have either no template, which would be empty, or we have a base template that comes stock with Mod X, and you can see how impressive that stock template is, but you'll see how good it gets here pretty soon. Let's just real quick go take a look at that base template and and we'll see what it looks like. It's really going to look like a whole lot of nothing. So um, you can see it's got an HTML and a head, just basic HTML stuff going on in there. You've got a couple um, Mod X tags that are in here. So we'll see the site name. It's pulling the site name. So it's the name of the site right now is called Mod X Revolution by stock or by default. It, it's got a dash and then it has the title of the page. So this is how we're dynamically generating the, the titles uh, of our page. Uh, we have a, a, a base URL, which is just something smart to always have there. Um, it always references a, a base URL in your ModX site. And then you have the content tag that's literally just pulling all of that basic content into the template. Okay, so this is what we have, and, and we could build something custom ourselves, and I, I do it all the time. I, I do my own design, my own HTML and CSS or whatever, and JavaScript, and, and then I implement it. But today, to save us time, this is not an HTML and uh, CSS demo uh, this is a, uh, a mod X demo so we're gonna we're gonna see what it's like to set that up so um, I've just unzipped that uh, that template and you can see in the template we have um, all the pages right we have, have a couple of static HTML pages the regular home page we have a, a left sidebar they've provided us with a right sidebar and a no sidebar okay so and then we have all the JavaScript images and CSS that that goes along with it so so we got all the files that come with the template CSS images JavaScript and static HTML files we're just literally going to drag those into the directory over here um, of our uh, mod X lesson um, install so this is our mod X install I've uh, underscored the index so it doesn't uh, interfere with index.php we're just referencing these right now um, you know, so you, we could just name it something else, but, but, uh, you know, I, I figured I would just underscore it. So, uh, if we come in and look at, um, our template in HTML that they've set up for us, it's nice, beautiful, static HTML. Um, we're literally just going to take it all and copy it. Um, and we are going to drop it in here into... Um, are this home template that we're going to set up. So we've set up this home template. Um, you can see over here we had a base template and, and we're literally going to drop, um, create a new one called home template and, and give it the description and drop all of that in there. All of the home uh, static HTML inside. We're going to go after it's saved to our resource and we're going to flip it to uh, from the base template to the new home template. So was on base template now it's on home template and we're just going to now preview the site so what used to look on the base template if we save that what used to just be our hello you know it of course it immediately becomes whatever's getting pulled into uh, the home template or using the home template and so that would be all of the HTML and CSS generated by the um, template itself. So, boom, you already, I mean, the funny thing is, like, if you just had your static HTML and CSS, like, that that could be it. You could just drop it in and whatever. That's kind of a lame way to use content management systems, though. So, um, we're going to, uh, we're going to start out with the home page. So, right now, this is just the static HTML that's being pulled, oh, excuse me, from, from this new template we've created. Um, but we need we need dynamic, right? We want it to be um, a little bit dynamic uh, and be pulling in the content as we're loading in the content management system, which is the whole reason we have a content management system. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the title and uh, we're going to do that right inside here. We're going to drop our our title inside. So site name and page title. And now if we refresh, we should get ModX Revolution Home. Boom, there it is. Um, and the next thing we're going to do is we always want to drop that base href inside underneath the title just so we have it. And uh, boom, there's that. And then we're just going to play with something real quick. We're going to take the content and in this place where it says, so in the case you're wondering what this is all about, or maybe we'll do escape velocity, this big headline. It's there some, somewhere. 
Um, boom, 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 boom. Where is that? This is all the navigation. All right, so in, inside of our, here's our style class. The escape velocity is a free responsive yada, yada, yada. We're going to take all that out, and we're literally just going to drop in um, our content tag. And we press save and go back. We should just have the word hello in here. Okay, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Boom. It works, right? And so that's how easy it was just to get initial content started. Um, and so um, I wonder if we should take it any further than that. For right now, um, that's it. We're going we're gonna to stop and stop right there and see you in the next tutorial when we um, fill out the rest of the pages and start building the rest of this site. Um, and we'll start introducing uh, more intricate ways to use the template, to pull information, and then also to start implementing some of our template variables. So, aloha. Thanks for watching.